When it comes to networking, I always preferred and I always will prefer a cable over Wi-Fi for its performance and reliability. Every endpoint at my place that has an RJ45 port is connected to a switch, making the latter an essential piece of my networking infrastructure. In this video, I'm checking out the GS1920 series hybrid switch from my networking ally Zysel. The 8HP is the smallest in the GS1920 family and it comes in a plain cardboard box, clearly labeled, so you know what to expect when you open it. What you notice immediately after taking the switch out is that it means business. It has all metal body and weights enough that it could double as a paperweight. Another thing worth mentioning is that a power brick is nowhere to be found, as this puppy has a built-in power switch and so it only comes with a power cord and some mounting accessories. For me personally, this is a huge advantage. As a prosumer, I have quite densely deployed hardware and I always struggle to find place for multiple power bricks. The Zeisel GS1928 HP measures 37.5 by 23.5 by 6.1 cm, so it's only slightly larger than a regular Soho switch. Ok, maybe a bit more than slightly. The top has some air vents and a discrete component logo in black. The front label has a carbon fiber look to it, which is a nice touch. Up there you'll find a row of 8 1 gigabit ports and a cluster of 4 more sockets on the far right. Those 8 RJ45 connectors are actually PoE 802.380 compliant with a total power budget of 130 watts. In case you didn't know, PoE enables powering remote devices such as access points or IP cameras without the need to run dedicated power cables. The current is supplied by the switch over the very same cable that transfers the data. Those connectors on the right are RJ45 slash SFP combo ports, meaning that you can use either pair for a total number of 10 ports. Up front there is a set of status LEDs, including PoE usage indicator, so you can get an idea of your PoE budget consumption at a glance without the need to refer to management interface. Right below the LEDs are reset and restore buttons recessed into the case. The first one is pretty self-explanatory. It restores the device so you don't have to reach to the back to pull the plug. The other one resets the device to factory settings if you press it and hold it for over 7 seconds, but if you press it for 3 to 7 seconds it will restore the settings to the state you explicitly defined as your default. So if you're trying something new and it doesn't really go according to your plan and everyone in the office suddenly can access the internet, you can roll back to a previous state by simply pushing that button for a few seconds. At the back you have your power connector and a grounding socket. Left and right sides have multiple ventilation openings as this model doesn't have a single fan offering completely silent operation. On the bottom there's a set of solid rubber feet and mounting points for vertical installation. When it comes to setup and management you're presented with a choice. You can either manage the switch locally or add it to your Nebula site and manage it online. Zyso refers to this as Nebula Flex, allowing you to switch between the two management modes. So if your organization has a more traditional approach to IT, you can manage your network locally, but have the option to make the switch to the online management anytime at no additional cost. To reach the local management interface in an environment with a DHCP server, you can use the zone utility to discover the switch. Alternatively, you could check the client's list on your DHCP server to find the IP address that the switch has been assigned. Locally hosted interface is quite clean, but it does look a bit dated compared to the NCC with its fancy charts and graphic reports layout representation. Migrating to the Nebula account management interface is as simple as logging into your Nebula account and adding the switch to the inventory. Simply type in the MAC address and the serial number, which can be found either on the switch itself or on the box it came in. You can also use the mobile app to scan the QR code on the bottom of the switch to add it to your inventory. Once added, the switch will check if there is a new firmware revision available. If there is, it will be downloaded and installed automatically, which can take a few minutes. When the update is complete, the switch will appear on the dashboard as online. From there you can do more than you really need change port settings individually, configure link aggregation, monitor power consumption or check network throughput statistics. It's a convenient single point of management for all your Nebula compatible networking gear. The Zysel 8HP has got it all. The built-in power supply, 
130 watts PoE budget, online management, it's a perfect choice for an office environment or home of a power user such as myself. The only thing that could make it better is 10 gigabit, and I can't wait for Zysel to release a 10 gigabit model in such compact form factor. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.